But when you look at Amazon's performance this year, the stock has skyrocketed 30 percent. It's up 455 percent in the past decade. But you'd never know it from looking at Amazon's bottom line. In fact, there are a number of big name companies that have seen a big run up in their shares without making any real money. Dominic Chu explains. As a company, you don't really need to make money for your stock to go higher. The investing world is littered with examples of companies who fail to generate profits, yet still manage to show healthy stock price appreciation. Take consumer electronics giant Best Buy. It's in the midst of a turnaround effort by CEO Hubert Jolie. Over the course of the past year, shares have gained over 150 percent, which translates into an added $9 billion in stock market value. During that same time frame, the company has posted a net loss of $234 million. Then there's online discount brokerage company E-Trade Financial. You know, the company with those commercials of that cute baby yeah, who talks like about stock trading. E Economy's been a little rough. E-Trade shares have close to doubled over the last 12 months, adding nearly $2.5 billion in market value. Yet the company posted a loss of $234 million during that time. And let's cap it off with a look at a brand name in computers and technology. Hewlett Packard, HP. Former eBay CEO Meg Whitman is now running the show at HP. Over the last year, the stock has soared some 70 percent, which has added over $18 billion in market value for shareholders. Meanwhile, HP as a company has lost around $3 billion during that time. So why do companies who lose money keep getting rewarded by shareholders? The answer lies in future expectations. Stocks basically exist to discount uh, the present value of what future earnings will be. So when you see stocks that are rising without profits at the moment, investors are voting that profits will be higher in the future. So don't be fooled. When it comes to investing, don't discount a stock just because the company doesn't make money. If you think it will make money in the future, then that might be a good reason to buy. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.